Hi guys, Chris here. I've got the Teclast X98 Pro here that's plugged into my external monitor. Now this is an Azus monitor that can output 2560 by 1440. So it's a nice high resolution monitor. Now the old tablet that had the Bay Trail Z3736 in could only output HDMI to 1080p and that was it. Now this is just a quick test here. I don't unfortunately have a 4K monitor. I'm not one of those lucky people. But it should be able to output to 4K as well. You can see I've got the micro HDMI cable just plugged in here running this as a second screen here, an extended monitor and I do have it plugged in at the moment to my Surface 3 charger now if you have a look down here, I'm just looking at the battery it's a little bit hard to see, sorry, to try and get this all on the camera but it will sit at 100% here so when it's fully charged, it will stay at 100% much like my Surface 3 did that also had a Cherry Trail Atom in it. So it's got a different battery controller in it. And this is one of the good things that I do like about this tablet because what happens on the old one is it'll get to 100 and then even though you've got it plugged in, it will drop down to about 95 and then start charging again. And it'll keep doing that over and over and over again. And that's probably not good for the longevity of the battery because it's going to be charging and discharging, charging, and discharging all the time. And eventually, oh, it will probably take years though, that will probably wear the battery out because it's having so many discharge and charging. And a quick look here too at what I'm doing at the moment. I've got two actually sc screens here up of Chrome. And our Chrome is run, doesn't run that good on Windows 10 at the moment. For me personally, it's a, it's a bit of a bog. You know, we've got Windows Edge, that's nice and smooth. I'm doing a bit of a test here just to show you that... Um, there is a little bit of stutter here, but this also happened on the Surface 3 because I'm running Chrome and I've got two videos that are embedded here and a lot of images. And you can see that just scrolling up and down there is a little choppy and not the fastest there. And again, that's mainly because I do have those embedded videos there on YouTube. So if you're on a site you can see there's the lag there, but you can run lots of tabs now in Chrome because you do have that extra memory. Now if I go to the Task Manager, again, this is probably going to be really hard to see, sorry, to try and fit because the text is tiny on the monitor. Um, at the moment I'm using 64% of my memory. Hopefully you can see that there. And you can see RAM available. It does list the 4 gigabytes there. So Chrome being so heavy on the RAM, it just seems to suck up a lot. I can still run a lot of tabs here and look around at various different things and it seems to be fast enough and I do like that and having the large desktop here. It's overall I find the performance of Windows 10 is definitely better just for example clicking on the menu there and that's way over the other side there but clicking on that menu then I can bring that up it just seems to pop up a little bit faster than what the X98 Air 3G or Air 2 would so that RAM is helping, obviously maybe Windows is caching more things like that. It's some of the system UI has been cached more because we've got the extra RAM and that's helping out. And overall, yeah, it seems to be running pretty good. Now I'm using Bluetooth, probably wondering how I'm connecting up if I've got the USB port taken up there. Well, I'm using the Bluetooth mouse and my trusty little Logitech keyboard here. And that's working fine, but just like the other models, all the Chinese ones, the Bluetooth mouse will start to lag when you do get a lot of things happening. So if you're doing something CPU intensive, it will lag the mouse. And this happens on all the tablets because Bluetooth is running on the same band as the wireless as well. So they, they, they're interfering with each other because it's 2.4 gigahertz and I've got interference from both of those. And I notice that the mouse does start to lag a little bit and that is annoying. So to get past that, I need to then plug in and use a Logitech mouse which allows me to do things a lot quicker on the screen and I don't get that mouse lag which um, it just drives me mad to be honest and my trusty little four port charging USB hub looks like it wants to charge the tablet now if I switch it to the second mode and plug it in and then plug in the charger in here camera, 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 there we go, camera focus now if I plug in the charger here and switch it to number two. It looks like it wants to charge the tablet, but after about five minutes, I notice the battery percent starts to drop. So it's not actually properly, it's not working properly at all. 
with the new model. So I'm going to have to try and test out some other hubs there because it's very handy to have this plugged in, have the four ports and have the tablet charging of course because eventually the, the charge it will go right down and you'll run out of battery if you're going to be running things via the ports for the whole day or a couple of days or whatever. So that's just a slight annoyance there. So when I need the speed of my, don't want the mouse lag and everything like that, then I have to use this at the moment and eventually the battery will start to drain. So if I plug that in here, I'll just do a, a quick uh, multitasking test. Let's plug that in on mode number one at the moment. And now my mouse shouldn't lag when I start to open up lots of things here. So I'm just trying to adjust here on the monitor and see how many tabs I can start to open up. I will keep Bluetooth plugged in with the keyboard here. So I'm just gonna run a couple of tabs here. BBC. I'll open up YouTube as well, see if I'm gonna run some videos. The Bluetooth keyboard doesn't seem to have that much of an impact on the wireless speed, slowing it down at all. And okay, just gonna start running some random videos here. So yeah, the BBC homepage has loaded in there, and you can see I can scroll relatively quickly there. Um, it's not actually lagging as much as Tech Tablet's website is, funnily enough, but that's probably because of those two embedded videos on the one page, as I mentioned. So that's loading on all right. Let's have a look. Now, if you try and do this on the older model, you can, but it'll probably be a little bit slower. It's definitely faster. And that video is working all right, and I've got no sound on it. And is this in 4K? Probably not. Sony 720p. Sony 720p. Sony 720p. So let's see if I can find a 4K clip or 2K clip actually. 2K video. Run that. Ultra HD Godzilla trailer. Okay. See how this runs. Hopefully my internet connection can keep up. Well, it's in HD at the moment. I'm going to go right up to 2K. Higher than my monitor actually. My monitor is just 1440p. I'll run this here in full screen and see how it handles that. Actually, it's running in 4K, it says. Okay, that's not running very well, is it? Oh, it's a bit of stutter there. So that actually says it's on 4K, which isn't what I wanted. I ran the wrong setting. So I run that at 1440p. So 4K streaming, that's probably my internet connection that's not keeping up with that. There we go. That's a lot smoother now. Although it still is stuttering actually. 40p. So 1080p, now that's running smooth. I would probably need to close all those tabs I have opened in Chrome because they are eating into the RAM there. But seems to run okay, but well, there we go, the 4K test didn't work out too well. And I'll leave that there running in the background and see how many tabs I can just open up before I can, can get things to start to really bog down and become incredibly slow here. So just go and open up another uh, what I can run up uh, Yahoo. So I still have that running in the background there, the trailer. And Yahoo's loading up. CNN.com, not CCN. Okay. And it seems to be running a little bit slower now. Bogging down a little bit. So I have two, four, six, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 10 or 11 tabs open at the moment in Chrome. Um, drag things around here. Now don't forget I am running this of course in 256, sorry 2560 by 1440. Run that. Now I'm going to drag that over to the actual tablet screen. And see if I can actually just full screen that. You can see now that's down here on the tablet. Running that down there on the tablet. And I don't know if I have any videos I can run at the moment. No. And let's have a look at that. This is the temperatures right here. It's now running another trailer there. So that's still streaming away, YouTube. So current CPU speed is around 1.5 gigahertz on all of the cores. And my temperatures at the moment are currently 83 degrees and that's showing in red. So this is one of the issues so far with this tablet is it seems to be running a lot hotter than the Bay Trail version. And that is no doubt going to have an impact on performance and you can see here that it doesn't show it as throttling yet so everything's on no along there and I still have that trailer running there with Transformers 4 bad movie that one okay so just click here drag this back and onto the monitor and it's playing right now so have a look quickly at the task manager and see just how the CPU load is. So memory is right up there full now, 85%. And the process is CPU is actually right there up at 100%. So that's probably why it was stuttering there before on that 4K clip. You can see there, it's just maxing out, hopefully, the CPU. So you can see that's maxing that out there. So what I'm going to try and do now is if I close all these tabs, oh, I still have my Bluetooth mouse connected up, I'll turn that off. And see if I'm going to run something here in 4K and just close things up so I can get the RAM to free up a little bit here. So the CPU now has dropped down a little bit. Google, you can see, is taking up right here. Still a chunk of that. And memory now has dropped right down. So I wonder if I can repeat this clip and run it in 4K. If it's going to let me run it in 4K without any stutter. Okay, it's loading in now and you can see the CPU is going right up there to 100%. It's dropped back down again. And you can see there, the CPU is at 100% running this clip in 4K. So 4K streaming seems like a bit of a no-go. Now I know that can run 4K clips off my desktop because videos I've recorded on a Note 4 or an LG G4 in 4K, it will play those just fine. doesn't have an issue with that, but it's just the streaming here is not handling that. So go back again to 1440p, once more with more RAM freed up now and give it one last shot. Okay, that's running a little better, but again, that CPU is at 100 there, so it's fully taxing it. Okay, so if I quit out of the video now, let's see what happens to the CPU. Now, this could be Chrome bogging things down as well. There you go, the CPU now has dropped down to 30, 
8% and memory. And it's taking an awful long time actually here to load and check tablets.com. There we go. So that has now loaded up there. And scrolling is not that smooth. So one last test, I'll run Edge. And you can see temperatures are still running around 83 degrees, 84. Just along here, it's getting a bit hot. Now this is back in edge here. What is going on with the zoom? Okay, her page is displaying all zoomed up funny. And that is smooth to scroll. So you can see that Chrome's a bit of a dog there, really. It's not optimized for Windows 10 yet. So go back into YouTube, and now let's try 4K clip. And look how much faster that is, actually. I'm using the wrong browser, it seems. Okay, so 4K trailer of something. We can run that. Not letting me search. What's going on? There we go. 4K video. There we go. Try again. So 2160p, 4K. Okay, that's definitely in 4K and that is smooth. So you can see that Chrome is the problem. So you can stream 4K just fine. Just don't use Chrome, stay away from Chrome. Let's have a look here at temperatures. Still 95 degrees. And look at that. CPU is only running at, Microsoft Edge is only using about 15%. They're running the 4K video streaming it. So really you need to be very wise with your browser there and stay away from Chrome for the moment. I'll have to start using Microsoft Edge a lot more because that is playing it just fine. Perfect, as you can see. And I can move around in the video there, that's quick. So not a problem at all. One last test, keep saying that, don't I? Move this over to the screen, down here on the tablet. There we go, that is running fine. Okay, so there's a look at multitasking there using the HDMI out port, running on my 1440p monitor, 4K streaming, and a perfect example of why not to use Chrome as well. Chrome is a complete dog here in Windows 10 and on the Atom. Thanks for watching the video, I'll have more up and coming ones, so do stay tuned to the playlist for the X98 Pro if you are interested. Bye for now.